Ministro Pistorini International Airport Spanish, Aeropuerto Internacional Ministro Pistorini IATA, EAS, ICAO, CES, known as Azaza International Airport owing to its location in the Azaza Partido in Greater Buenos Aires, is an international airport 22 kilometers 14 miles south-southwest of the autonomous city of Buenos Aires, the capital city of Argentina. It is the country's largest international airport by number of passengers handled, 85% of international traffic, and is a hub for international flights of Aerolinas Argentinas and LATAM Argentina. Aerolinas Argentinas and its subsidiary Austral Lineas Areas do operate limited domestic or cabotage air service from Pastorini Airport as well. Covering 3,475 hectares 13.42 square miles, 8,590 acres, the airport serves Buenos Aires and its metropolitan area. It has been operated by Aeropuertos Argentina 2000 SA since 1998. It is one of two major airports serving Buenos Aires, along with Aeropark Jorge Newbery. Ministro Pistorini Airport was voted 2007 Best Airport in the Region, following a survey carried out by Skytrax. It dropped to third place in 2010, behind Comodoro Arturo Marino Benitez International Airport and Jorge Chavez International Airport. History The airport was named after the general and politician Juan Pistorini He, as Minister of Public Works, placed the cornerstone of the project on the 22nd of December 1945. It was designed and erected by Argentine technicians, its construction was one of the major projects in the five-year plan of the first presidency of Juan Perón. When it opened, it was the third largest airport in the world, the first civil flight from the then new London Heathrow Airport, a BSAA Avro Lancastrian, flew to Ministro Pistorini International Airport in 1946. A 1949 diagram shows three runways crossing at 60 degree angles, 9,353 feet runway 10 28, 7,220 feet 4 20 seconds and 6,892 feet 16 34. In 1997, RWY 23 was closed and it is now used for parking large aircraft such as the Airbus A340 or Boeing 747. The Azaza massacre took place near the airport in 1973. <laughs> <laughs> Access The airport is about 22 kilometers from Buenos Aires City. Road access is by the Ricari Highway. There is no direct rail link between the airport and the city, while there is a railway station in the nearby town of Azaza, with local buses connecting the town to the airport, this is not a usual route. Travel between the airport and anywhere in the Buenos Aires region can be undertaken by city taxi, or limousine remise in Spanish, and there are airport shuttle buses operating a non-stop service between the airport and certain locations in central Buenos Aires. Public transport buses to various destinations are also available. Topic: <inaudible> Operations. Since December 2012, citizens from countries requiring an entry visa for Argentine nationals, including Australia and Canada, are charged a reciprocity fee to enter Argentina, equivalent to the price the countries charge Argentine citizens for a visa. Until December 2012, 2012 to 12, the tax was collected in Argentine pesos or US dollars at the airport. Since then, the tax must be paid in advance online from the country of origin. As of August 23, 2016, the Argentine government, Presidential Decree No. 959/2016, has resolved to suspend the collection of the reciprocity fee from U.S. passport holders who visit the country for less than 90 days for tourist or business purposes. In October 2012, Azaza Airport recorded the highest annual traffic growth of all the airports operated by Aeropuertos Argentina 2000. For this month, the airport handled 767,824 passengers, a 10.9% increase compared to the previous October. The volume of international and domestic traffic for October 2012 increased 8.7% and 108.3%, respectively, year on year. 
Overall, 2012 traffic figures for the airport indicated a 7.3% increase over the previous year. Figures for July 2013 showed that the airport handled 688,397 passengers, an 8.9% decrease over the previous year. Topic: Airlines and destinations. Terminal C was inaugurated in July 2011. As of December 2011, its facilities were in use by Aerolinas Argentinas, Air France, and Alitalia for their operations. More SkyTeam members were expected to move their operations to the terminal. In March 2013 Terminal B, with an area of 28,795 square meters 309,950 square feet, was inaugurated, for use by Aerolinas Argentinas and KLM. Qantas withdrew its service to the airport in favor of Santiago de Chile in March 2012. Flights to Azaza Airport had begun in November 2008. This followed Malaysia Airlines' termination of its Boeing 747-served Kuala Lumpur-Cape Town-Buenos Aires route in early 2012 to cut costs. South African Airways discontinued its Johannesburg-Buenos Aires service in March 2014. In June 2010, 2010 Qatar Airways launched direct flights between the airport and Doha. After a 10-year gap, KLM resumed operations at the airport in October 2011. Emirates launched services to the airport in January 2012, 2012 and Turkish Airlines extended its Istanbul Sao Paulo service to end at Azaza in December the same year. Air New Zealand started non-stop flights between the airport and Auckland in December 2015. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Statistics Topic Accidents and Incidents As of August 2011, Aviation Safety Network records 30 accidents, incidents for aircraft that departed from the airport or had it as a destination. The list below provides a summary of the fatal events that took place at or in the vicinity of the airport. <laughs> accidents involving fatalities The 23rd of October 1996, Fuerza Aérea Argentina Flight 5025, a Boeing 707 to 320C, registration LVLGP, was operating a cargo service when it struck the ground short of the runway on final approach to Azaza inbound from Arturo Marino Benitez International Airport, broke up and burst into flames. Two occupants of the aircraft lost their lives. 26 26th of October 2003, Catalina A Area Flight 760, a Fairchild FH227B, tail number LVMGV, was operating a non-scheduled Azaza Comba Punta Airport freighter service when it encountered technical difficulties shortly after takeoff from Azaza Airport. The aircraft attempted a belly landing on a nearby golf course. The aircraft skidded some 200 meters before hitting a tree and bursting into flames. All five occupants of the aircraft died in the accident. See also List of airports in Argentina Transport in Argentina <laughs>